today on Designing Spaces. Need a car battery you can really rely on? Walmart's Everstart will never disappoint you. In the market for an energy efficient door? There's only one place to call, Builder's First Source. When it comes to finding a contractor you can trust, Contractor Connection makes it easy to get connected with one. The thought of home financing giving you the blues? M&T Bank will help turn that frown upside down. Designing Spaces begins now. Just a typical day for the Champagne family. Morning routine in high gear. Coffee? Yes, please. I have such a busy day today. Yeah? I, yes. Jaden? Oh. Yeah? Can you come here? What do you want for breakfast, bud? Cereal. Cereal? cereal? Okay, awesome. Let's you get some what? cereal for Jaden. You excited for Jackson's birthday? Yeah. You getting a gift from today, huh? Mm -hmm. How was soccer last night, bud? I meant good. to ask you. Good. Did you meet some new friends? Yeah. Did you score a goal? Yeah. Of course good you scored a goal. Good job, bud. All right, sweetie, we're leaving, okay? Uh, oh, okay. Have a great right. day. Have a great day, too. Bye, bud. Bye. Bye. All right. The battery's dead. With a list of stops to make, there was no time for the car to stop. We have this awesome day planned, errands to run, and what do you know, our battery's dead. So the car won't start? Just won't start. Probably gonna have to get your keys, get a jump so that we can get our day started. We have jumper cables, so hopefully Kurt can figure it out so we can get our day going. You're gonna have to find out where we can get a battery. In the meantime, I'm gonna go inside, do some research online, see if I can find myself a battery. My first thought is go to walmart.com, see what they have in stock. Sure enough, they have something to fit our Tahoe. Thank goodness that Walmart is basically a one-stop shop. I mean, we checked online, they have the battery we need. That was perfect. That was perfect. Good morning, welcome to Walmart Auto Care Center. How can I help you? Good morning, we have a dead battery. Oh, you come to the right location. Why you don't come inside so we can help you out? Okay, perfect. Oh yeah, look at all the batteries. Perfect. So you said that you have issues with your battery? Yeah, the battery died this morning. We had to jump the vehicle and... And I went it. online at walmart.com and I saw that we put our make and model in and maybe you had something to offer? Yeah, we do have the Everstar batteries. They're great batteries and we have different warranties that we can offer for you. Also, we can test and check the battery for free and install it for free. Perfect. That's and great. All at the same location. Yeah, warranty That's is awesome. That's wonderful. So let me introduce you to Winton, our battery specialist. Perfect. Good morning. Great to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. Here, let me show you what we got. Okay. Thank you. Perfect. What kind of truck do y'all have? 2010 Chevy Tahoe. We looked online and saw you maybe carried Everstart? We have, we carry Everstart, have been for 20 years. H6 will be what you guys require. Okay. Uh, it's designed along the exact same dimensions, uh, requirements that, the, that came in your truck. Okay. So it's a perfect fit. They had done their homework online and knew that the H6 was the battery for their vehicle. Yeah. What about warranty? Do you guys do anything like that? Warranty on the max, which is what we're going to put in your truck, is a five-year warranty, three-year free replacement. If you have a problem anywhere in the country, you can take it back to any Walmart and your, your warranty will be honored. Oh, that's convenient. Yeah. That's great. Walmart was close by, so it was convenient. Hunter was able to look up online to make sure the battery was in stock, and we're here now getting it installed. And is there an installation fee? No installation fee. It's uh, Free installation. Completely free installation. I like that. That's great. What happens to our old battery? Walmart is in the sustainability business. We take them back. Oh, wow. So 99% of everything that comes out of these batteries goes back into other consumer products. That makes Recycling. me happy. That's great, yeah. You're getting the top rated battery at a Walmart value price. So let's get your installation going. Thank Excellent. you so much. So far, customer service has been great. Very informative. They talked about warranties, uh, battery options for our jet ski, our truck. It's great. Installation has started. Kurt's going to wait. In the meantime, since we're at Walmart, I'm going to get some shopping done with Jaden, go buy a oh, birthday geez. present, yes. and we'll get it all done in That's one stop. Yeah. Hunter and Jaden are off shopping. I'm just waiting and should be done soon. That matches your soccer shoes, too. Yeah. Good job, bud. We're here at Walmart. Everyone is so friendly and so informative. I'm even learning some stuff about batteries, which is great. 
they have a battery for us. Now they're going to pull the truck in the back where a trained technician is going to use state-of-the-art testing equipment to make sure that the battery is in fact the problem. They'll test the battery, they'll test the system, make sure that when they leave here they're going to be completely satisfied. Once the battery has been selected, the installation by Walmart's trained and certified technicians is quick and easy. Plus, Walmart Auto Care Centers recycles all batteries that are replaced, taking the best care of their customers and the environment. EverStart seems to be a great product. I'm excited to have it in a truck. So how was your experience? Experience was great. It was awesome. Big pushes in Everstar batteries. Excellent. Thank you Thanks so much. Again. Have a nice one. Providing the power to keep your vehicles going strong, Everstart knows performance is not an option. It's an expectation. Their favorite sound is an engine roaring to life. As a Fort Worth homeowner, avid gardener and parent of grown children, Anna Villarreal appreciates the importance of energy savings in her home. And a big part of energy efficiency starts with the exterior door. Definitely my uh, front door is, uh, there's hardly any lighting coming in, so it's extremely dark in my hallway. I think a brand new door with more glass, more lighting um, is gonna help overall. Not only the lighting, uh, but I feel it would also help the electricity bill. There's many things that it, that it advantages that it could have and switching out my front door. Anna wanted to make sure a new door was not just affordable and energy efficient, but also provided a lot more lighting to her home. She found what she was looking for at her local builder's first source. We find there are a multitude of reasons that folks decide to upgrade their front doors, from energy efficiencies, to aesthetics, to security. The entryway is probably the least challenging and aesthetically most pleasing way to upgrade your home. You mentioned that you were looking for a wood door, and uh, here's a wood option, and you have different types of glass. Uh, you have different privacy ratings. And it should be easy for a homeowner or builder to find the perfect exterior door or building materials needed for a home renovation or construction project. Builders First Source is a Fortune 500 company with over 400 locations in 40 states and Alaska. That means a wide range of exterior door products available from a large company, but also the personalized attention at the local level. Honestly, here you, you have different glass options. Okay. Uh, this is the Flemish rain glue chip. Uh, this will offer you a little bit more of a privacy. Uh, it's the rain glass, privacy rating number eight. Uh, which will go exactly well what you're looking for. Right, yeah, I, I really like that one. I think I'd want to go with that one. Okay, we can go with that. Okay. I'm just receiving information from knowledgeable and competent salespeople that allow her to make decisions to stay on time and within budget for her project. Anna received the door that she had selected through our knowledgeable and experienced team that supplied the products. We actually offered more than a product, we offered a solution, and Anna seems very pleased with it. With installation of her new exterior door completed, it means more security and lighting for Anna and more energy efficiency for her family. Hello, Anna. Hi. So what do you think? Well, it looks awesome. Turned out beautiful, didn't it? It looks beautiful. So, and you're happy with the glass? The glass is just what I was looking yeah, for. Yeah, so that gives you your privacy, and yet it's going to let light, you know, come in as well. I definitely feel that I'm going to see the energy efficiency come into play. The door is beautiful. The privacy is awesome. The lighting is great. I love it. To learn more about Builders First Source and its complete line of exterior door products, go to their website, bldr.com, or go to designingspaces.tv to see this portion of the show again. A home remodeling project can improve the value of your home, but pre-planning for the project is crucial. So a home improvement project can be a huge undertaking and it's important that you plan as best as you can. Making sure you have the right pre-planning done in advance is really gonna lead to less stress, a quicker project, an overall better quality project, and obviously more satisfaction for you. So before getting started, homeowners should ask the following question. How do I plan for a remodel project? 
First, all good projects start with preparation. You need to make initial decisions on your project so it starts off correctly. Before you actually start any project, there are several steps you probably ought to consider. First, you want to collect visual ideas, right? You want to get some inspiration on what it is you want your project to look like when it's done. What kind of materials do you want to include and what's the scope of the project that you have in front of you? Second, you want to think about the contractors that you're going to engage in the process and kind of research those folks, understand what their background is, what their quality of work is, and really kind of credential them for the overall project. And then third, you really want to fully understand the contract behind the project and what you should expect at the end of the project from your contractor. Next, you need to set the correct expectations for the project. Well, first, you can't expect that your project will go flawlessly. Every project is going to run across challenges from time to time. You also want to plan for delays because they will come up during your project and you want to have a plan so that you'll help to avoid frustration for you and your contract. Finally, keep to a constant communication plan for timely completion of the project. So it's important that you're communicating with your contractor on a regular basis because it establishes a rapport and it establishes a cadence to the overall project. If you're not communicating effectively, then it can lead to challenges and struggles that really can lead to a poor project and lead to larger issues that you really don't want to have to deal with. For more information, visit ContractorConnection.com or go to DesigningSpaces.tv. Whether you're a first-time home buyer, a move-up home buyer, or even planning for your retirement, mortgage lending does not have to be a difficult process. I'm here looking at some new construction homes with my son and to meet with M&T Bank Senior Vice President of Mortgage Lending, Scott Bayhew. He's gonna go over some available mortgage options for me, but first, I wanna check out this house. Yeah. <laughs> Laura, what'd you think about the house? I love it. I love this kitchen, by the way. I love the white cabinets, and I love that it's an open kitchen because I have a son, obviously, and you know, <laughs> I like to see what he's doing and where he's playing. So I think I think that's that's a big thing for oh, families. Yeah. They love open kitchens. Moving can be stressful enough, and we try to make it as easy and as simple as we can. Um, on top of that, we like to have a really broad product menu, so folks only have one place that they need to come to when they need their mortgage financing done. What's the yeah. first step for a new home buyer? First step for a new home buyer is you should really come up with a budget of what you can afford. From there, you really need to move to where do I want to live? What type of house do I want to have? Do I want to be in a condo, a townhouse? Do I want to be in a big development? Things like that. And then you can move on to what are the best ways for me to finance that? And whether it's new construction to build your dream home, a home purchase, or even a fixer upper, M&T Bank has you covered with a variety of financing options. So can you walk me through some of the mortgage options that are out there? The first, and this is probably what suits maybe 70, 75% of the population, would be your traditional 30-year fixed rate kind of mortgages. Things we call, ever we might have heard of Fannie Mae or Freddie yeah. Mac or FHA and things like that. That really helps a lot of people, but associated with those are all kinds of um, assistance programs for first-time home buyers and folks that buy in certain areas around the country. And those are where it gets really, really complex. What really surprises most people is they think I gotta have 20% down or something like that, I've gotta have perfect credit, and that's not true at all. Folks can get into houses for less than $1,000. There's even some uh, very targeted programs where you don't even need any cash to close in them. For those that already own a home, M&T Bank offers a wide range of refinance mortgage options that allow homeowners the ability to tap equity to consolidate debts, make home improvements, lower their current interest rate, or adjust the term of their loan to pay off sooner or reduce their payment. I didn't know there were so many options when it came to mortgages. I had no idea that you could get a bridge loan if you had a house and you couldn't sell it right away. I had no idea that you could get a construction loan, a renovation loan. That's why I know it's so important to actually talk to a lender. Best thing that happens is you find out other options you may not have thought about. You may find out about free money, grant, down payment programs that you had no idea, or even yeah. really discounted rates. So we've talked about first-time home buyers, repeat home buyers, and every single one of those segments could include seniors. So very important aspect of our product offering and frankly an important aspect of being a community bank. I'm a widow and I would like to go into a retirement community. But my husband used to do all the mortgage matters and I just don't know where where do I begin have you thought about how you're gonna afford this new house well I heard about this a 
a reverse mortgage out there, but I'm not sure I know that much about it. A reverse mortgage is a really, really neat financial planning tool. As a senior, we have uh, financial counseling requirements. So these are actually certified financial counselors that run through what your situation is and really help you understand what some of your best options are in addition to what your loan officer and bank may be telling you. I, that would be one thing that I would have been worried about if he didn't tell me. So that gives me a really good peace of mind. Nowadays, many banks also offer online tools to help get people started. At M&T, they have an online and mobile app where you can get pre-approved or play with different payment scenarios to determine corresponding loan sizes. You always hear that term pre-approval. Sure. Why is it so important to be pre-approved? If you think of what's recently happened in the housing market, right, there are all these people that are trying to buy houses and there's not enough houses for sale. So when you go to a realtor and say, I want to put an offer in on your house, they won't even let you put one in until you have a pre-approval. Being a part of the communities we serve is super, super important. It all feeds into what's long-term best for our communities. and. You know, it may sound a little bit corny, but I always think about Jimmy Stewart and It's a Wonderful Life. And that's the kind of banker we want to be. That's the kind of place M&T is. You know, being in the mortgage business, we're really in the American dream business. For more information on available mortgage options, visit the M&T Bank website at mtb.com or go to our website at designingspaces.tv. Home repairs, it's part of the annual cost of owning a home that everyone should plan for. So the general rule of thumb is an estimation of one to 2% of your property home's value set aside every year for potential maintenance, and that's general maintenance. If you're talking about remodeling projects, you're talking about a, a whole different story. Which brings the million dollar question that homeowners ask themselves every day. Should I do it myself or hire a contractor? To answer that question, we asked the experts. Before starting any project, always consider the dangers that lie ahead. First, from a safety perspective, you really need to think about do you have the knowledge and the skills to be able to complete that project safely? And then protecting the value of your home. It's the biggest asset that you likely have, and a general contractor or a professional contractor is going to really help protect that value through quality work at the end of the project. Experience is also important. How much experience do you have compared to a contractor? So small projects like painting a room or replacing the screens in your house are great do-it-yourself projects. But when you get into larger projects, it's really about having the right knowledge, skills, and abilities to be able to complete that project effectively. Finally, cost savings is the big reason for most DIY projects. But you should also consider the value of your own time. First, could a contractor get better materials for a better overall cost? Second, will a professional complete the project more timely than you can complete it yourself? Third, are you going to get a workmanship warranty on the completed repairs if you do it yourself? And lastly, the biggest question is, is that the best use of your time? If you do decide to hire a professional contractor, ContractorConnection.com can provide you with a vetted, licensed, and insured contractor who will provide you timely work, quality work, and a three-year workmanship warranty on the completed project. For more information, visit ContractorConnection.com. For more information on anything you've seen on today's show, or to be a part of the show, go to our website, designingspaces.tv. You can visit these websites to learn more about the participants on this edition of Designing Spaces. 